Hello everyone, my name is Onyx Day and today I'm going to show you how to burn PS1 discs on your computer. First off, we're going to need a few things. We're going to need a PS1 machine that's been mod chipped. We're going to need a PC that's able to write discs. We're also going to need IMG burn and a 700 megabyte CD that's able to be burned. Let's get started. First off, you want to go to the official IMG burn page. That can be found right here and in the description below. Here it is. You don't want to go to downloads and pick Mirror 7. I don't really know about the other mirrors, I just mainly use Mirror 7 because it's uh, provided by the official site, so yeah. I already have it installed, so there's no point in installing it again. Second off, now that you installed IMG Burn, you're gonna need a game ROM. Any game ROM you choose, I'm not gonna provide any because I don't know if that's legal in your state or not. So it really depends. You're gonna wanna make a folder, name it the game, the game's title. You wanna double click, drag the files out into the folder, and you're gonna see it has a bin and a queue file. There can be multiple bin files, but those don't really matter. All you want to focus on is the Q file. Now you can get rid of this. And now you have a game. Here it is. A bin and a Q file. It doesn't matter how many of these are. I'm seeing it again. And now you want to right click on the Q file right here. And open with IMG Burn, the ultimate image burner. If you do not, ha if it doesn't show right there, you can just choose another application, and it's gonna show nine times out of ten. There it is. This might look confusing at first, but there's really not much to begin with. Copies, you only need one. Be sure it's an AVS Max. It's a bit slow, but it ensures that the, P uh, that the CD is um, written perfectly. The disk drive depends on where you have the disk. That doesn't really matter if you have only one tray. And after all of this is done, you can just right click on that, right. And now it begins. And when this process is done, you're going to notice that your disk is going to pop out of your disk tray, like right now. What you want to do is click, then pop it right back in. And now it's going to verify the disk. And now you can just pop it right back out and enjoy your game. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you on the next one. Stay cool.